Good morning, grandkids. Several of you have been asking me, what kind of books did you buy when you was at that bookstore? So I've never done this before, so I thought I'd try to show you what I got. Um, my usual, well, lately, my usual authors that I've been reading, mostly fantasy and detective and deep undercover black ops books. I, lo I love that stuff. And uh, I've been reading a lot of Stephen King, uh, Patterson, Mark Greeny, who does the Gray Man series, which is really great. I've still got a whole gob of his books on a shelf. And Lee Childs and John Sanford. So those are the books that I took back to the bookstore and left with her and practically emptied my bookshelves. So I thought instead of getting any more of those authors, I would get some, at least one or two books of different authors that I have read in the past that I really liked. Although I did pick up one other John Sanford book, The Holy Ghost. Uh, it is one of the series that has Virgil Flowers in it. He's he's not your typical detective. He's young. He's got long hair. He's a hippie. He loves to go pulling his uh, boat behind his car wherever he goes so that he can go fishing anytime he wants to. Uh, he likes that and he likes the women. He's a flirt. He's been married and divorced a half a dozen times, I think. But anyway, he's cute and he's fun to read. So I got another one of those books with one that I hadn't read yet. And let me see. Some others. This is, this is just the cover because the book's laying in there by my bed. But this is J.A. Jantz. And uh, I've, I've read a lot of books by her. And I got one by Lawrence Block and Tammy Hogue. Whoa, that's the wrong way. I've read uh, several of those, especially Tammy Hogue. And I got two books by Jonathan Kellerman. Whoa, I never know which way to go in front of that camera. There. And one by Peter Straub. And one by John Saul. And then I decided to try some new books. I mean, new authors that I haven't read before to see if I like them. I always use read the uh, back blurbs and uh, and an introduction to the story, so I'll know at least what it's about. And I u usually read the first page or two of the first chapter, so I'll know if I like their style of writing or not. So this one, I never heard of this author before, and I got it strictly because of the cover. I thought I'd like that. And these three books are by an author called Archer Mayer. I've never read anything by Archer Mayer. So bury the lead. These all sounded pretty good, and I read in the first few pages, and his writing style seemed pretty good. So, And then this one, at the bookstore, she had one shelf, uh, one wall of shelves 
full of local authors. And there's a bunch. I didn't know there was a bunch of local authors around Lebanon, Ohio. And maybe when it says local, it might mean the state of Ohio or something. I don't know. But uh, I went, I looked through them and I thought I'd buy at least one local author. And this is the one I picked out. Meredith Dench, Donch. I don't know how to pronounce that last name. Forsaken Trust. And uh, it says it's a Lucian Hansen thriller. So evidently she has other books with that character in it. And I read a couple of pages of that. And I read the back. And it sounded pretty good. So I'll check that out. Uh, Saturday... I don't remember if it's this Saturday or next Saturday. She's the owner of the bookstore is having a, I forget what she called it. It's like an author's day. There's several of the local authors going to be in there that you can go in and talk to and, and get a book signed and so on. So I don't know if I'll get to go or not. Uh, so, we shall see. If I do, I'll tell you about it, but I, I don't think I'll get to. So, those are the books that I got this time. But there's many more there waiting for me to come back and get them also. But I was spending too much money, so I thought I'd better stop for this time. This is a lot of reading uh, for me to get through. I only get to read anymore when I go to bed at night. So I try to go to bed early so that I can get at least one or two hours reading time in. And I can't just sit and read all the time like I used to. So, that's all the books that I got. So I hope that satisfies your curiosity, grandkids. And I will talk to you next time. Bye-bye.